We are all aware of the various wars in which our nation and other nations are engaged. They employ specific vehicles for military and combat operations, which is beneficial in many ways. Welcome back to the military future. This video is all about these mini killer tanks that shock the world. We will examine a list of top 8 such military vehicles in today's video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and tell your friends about it. Number 1. Rye Metal Weasel 1 the Rye Metal Produced Weasel Armored Weapons Carrier, AWC, is a small air transportable assault vehicle with light armor. Western Europe's only authentic modern tank ad is very small in size, design, and purpose to early reconnaissance tanks. The Weasel, a brand new weapon system to the Bundeswehr, began to be delivered in the late 1980s. The vehicle was given the nickname Weasel because of its diminutive size and agility, which makes them more difficult to spot on the battlefield, short for Weasel. In 1993, Weasel 1's production came to an end. The dual-fed Rheinmetal MK20RH202 20mm autocannon was mounted on the one-person KUKA turret, E62A1 on 210 of the 343 Weasel 1 vehicles, and the Rython TOW wire-guided anti-tank guided missile system was installed on 133 of them. Other countries that tested and employed the Weasel 1 included Greece, Indonesia, Malaysia, Norway, Singapore, Thailand, the United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, and the United States. As part of the UN forces, Germany dispatched several Weasel 1 armored armament carriers in 1993, both in 20mm and 2 versions. The Weasel 2 will serve as the foundation for the German Army's brand new Laflossus Stinger air defense system, for which STN Atlas Electronic is the lead contractor, now that Weasel's back in production. Number 2. Tankettes A tracked armored fighting vehicle that resembles a miniature tank is called a tankette and it's roughly the size of a car. It is mainly utilized for light infantry support and scouting. Several countries manufactured tankettes between the 1920s and the 1940s, some of which saw limited service in the early stages of World War II. However, militaries increasingly gave up on the idea due to the shortcomings of their light armor, with noteworthy exceptions like the more recent German Weasel series. Tankettes were available in two- and three-person sizes, and some the individuals had to lie on their back. Some versions featured very simple turrets that could only be moved by the user's hand or leg, or they had no turrets on them at all, with tracked mobility which is widely considered to define the term. They were much smaller than light tanks and lacked a tank gun, instead they carried one or two machine guns, or in rare instances, a 20mm autocannon or grenade launcher. Number 3. Themis Themis, tracked hybrid modular infantry system, an uncrewed ground vehicle, UGV, with a ground-based armed drone is made by Merlin Robotics in Estonia and primarily used for military purposes. The vehicle can be used as a transit platform, remote weapon station, ID detection, disposal unit, and more to support dismounted troops. The vehicle's open architecture allows it to carry out various tasks. Supporting on-base logistics and delivering last-mile resupply for combat units at the front line are the primary duties of the Themis transport. It benefits infantry units by reducing the burden on their bodies and brains and increasing standoff distance, force protection, and survival. Number 4. The Badger The Badger is without a doubt the smallest passenger tank ever built according to the Guinness Book World Records. It consists of a single individual and an all-terrain vehicle capable of scaling walls and other defensive structures. Light tanks were created to outmaneuver more massive tanks for swift maneuvers both inside and outside of combat. Greater tactical mobility, simpler logistics, and more accessible transport are all made feasible by its smaller size, thinner armor, and weaker main gun. Expeditionary forces often use them for screening, armored reconnaissance, skirmishing, artillery observation, and aiding landing operations in a fire support role when larger, heavier tanks are not available, or have trouble functioning safely or effectively. The Arms Corps and Sandef received the Badger's vehicle's initial prototype in 2010. The car is now undergoing modifications, integration, and testing to meet Sandef specifications. The production of the Badger began in early 2015, and by 2022, Rattel IFVs, also referred to as Honey Badgers, will have been completely replaced. The crew of the Badger is shielded from small arms fire and shell splinters by the vessel's all-welded, steel-armored hull. The vehicle has LMT flat floor technology, which has received certification from the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR. This will make the vehicle immune to explosions and landmines IEDs. Number 5. Weasel 2 The Weasel 2 is a more prolonged and more extended variant of the Weasel 1 with a more powerful engine and five instead of four road wheels. The Bunzeva bought 178 new cars in various configurations, including ambulance, air defense, radar, and anti-aircraft missile launcher, 120mm mortar carriage, command and fire control, and modifications. The Weasel 2 began operation in 2001. Depending on the model, the larger Weasel 2 is around 4.78 meters, 15.7 feet long, 2.17 meters, 7.1 feet high, 
and a 1.87 meters wide. Its inner volume is roughly double that of its forerunner. The most substantial version of it weighs around 4.78 metric tons, or 5.27 short tons. The engine was replaced with a brand new 1.9 liter Volkswagen inline four cylinder turbo diesel engine with direct injection and an intercooler. It has an output of 81 kilowatt or 109 horsepower, and it is connected to a ZF automatic transmission. Improved crew safety features on the Weasel 2 include armor, an air conditioning system, and NPC shielding. Compared to Weasel 1, it is often larger, faster, and more robust. Number 6 SWAT Teams. Even though SWAT teams were first created in the 1960s to cope with riot control or violent encounters with criminals, the war on drugs and later, in the wake of September 11th, increased the number of employment of SWAT teams in the 1980s and 1990s. By 2005, the US utilized SWAT teams 50,000 times annually, executing search warrants 80% of the time, most often to find illegal substances. It occurred about 80,000 times a year by 2015. SWAT teams are increasingly armed with military-style weapons and prepared to handle crowd control and other situations that fall outside the jurisdiction of standard law enforcement. Among the automatic and specialized weapons typically carried by SWAT personnel are some machine guns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, riot guns, riot control agents, smoke grenades, and stun grenades. Additionally, they could use specialized tools, including heavy body armor, ballistic shields, access tools, armored vehicles, thermal and night vision devices, and motion detectors to covertly find captives or hostage takers inside limited spaces. We know how interesting all these machines are, is it not? Which one is your favorite when you hear about its features? Stay tuned for the rest of them! If you like this video, do not forget to give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel! Also, tap on the bell icon for notifications. Number 7. MK7 Tetrarch Light The British light tank known as the Tetrarch, also known as the light tank MK7, A17, was created by Victor's Armstrongs in the late 1930s and used in the Second World War. The company's range of light tanks built for the British Army included the Tetrarch, the most recent model, the light tank MKVIC, its precursor, was improved by adding the more powerful two-pounder cannon. The initial order from the War Office for 70 tanks increased to 220. Only 100 to 177 of the tanks were produced due to production delays brought on by several factors. Number 8. 20mm Autocannon Popular ammunition for autocannons is in the 20mm caliber. It is typically used to distinguish between larger caliber cannons and smaller caliber armament, often referred to as guns, e.g. machine gun versus autocannon. All 20mm cartridges have a 0.787 inch barrel bore diameter and an outer projectile bullet, 20mm. Most of these projectiles are shells with an explosive payload and detonating fuse, and their cartridge cases are typically 75 to 152 millimeters, 3 to 5 inches long. This caliber uses numerous weapons, such as anti-material rifles, anti-tank rifles, aircraft cannons, and anti-aircraft guns. The cartridge type indicates the projectile's diameter and length. For example, 20102mm designates a 20mm shell in a 102mm long case. This choice is usually decisive because two designers rarely utilize the same case length. For some cartridge kinds, additional letters or information are included. AB is used after the case length to detonate a belt used for head spacing. Like in the case of the cartridge with the case length 20X138B. So, with that, we come to the end of our video. Hope you got the names of all the killer machines used for military purposes. See you all in the following video with some other fantastic content. Bye!